the patient is not available and patient goes, some other person comes, uh, so many other things are there, better to have five. Five patient waiting is perfectly fine, nobody will say anything. So that is another thing. And uh, another important thing is that the same data is entered in different places in different forms by different people. So duplication of the data. So that also have to make an arrangement so that once the data is entered, it is available. Then comes that analysis, which I was mentioning, that some tools, analytic tools, to actually analyze the data in a proper manner, standard way throughout India. So that is another thing. And to do that, positively, you need sharing of the data across the states. I don't know whether it's possible or not, but positively, this is one of the areas which we should think about. And finally, a prior evidence-based decision support system. We are talking about evidence-based medicine for a long time, but uh, I don't know when it will come to India, but we positively we need for a proper decision support system which will have all the information required by the doctor to take the decision or required by the nurse to take the decision at the point of emergency in the ICU on the f operation uh, theater. Okay, so if, uh, if we forget that uh, for the time being, then we can go for some of the predominant uh, healthcare issues uh, which uh, Positively, we require a lot of innovation for that, and that is healthcare is a knowledge-based business because the whole, if you see the healthcare, the whole healthcare, every activity is based on knowledge. It is not possible for one person who has no knowledge of a certain thing and provide any of the healthcare services. It is very important to understand. And for a knowledge-based service, the first important thing is information. And that information is missing. There are information, there are intelligent information in different places. You, all of you know about that uh, uh, flu, okay, swine flu. So a lot of intelligent information uh, came through newspaper, televisions, and also through the peer. I was, uh, during that, the peak of the swine flu, I was in one of the seminar where all the doctors were there. And then uh, I just asked a question, so what should I do, because I'm not a doctor. So I asked a small question, that what should I do in swine flu? Th at least 20 people immediately answered me, what is swine flu? There's no swine flu. See, now that, that is the point. So which is correct, which is wrong, I don't know. But if you talk to the doctors, they say this flu is very common. Every year it is there. Okay, this is a, a particular type of flu. That's all. That's what doctors say. Everybody says this is a totally different type of flu. First time came in the world. So these are informations, but we don't know what type of information is that correct. Should you take it? Should you not take it? What way it is coming to us? We don't know because newspapers are making this information. That's one thing. Second thing is that the medicines, the different diseases, the different procedures for the diseases, a lot of things are available now in the market and a number of people are bringing a lot of new information. So we are calling it information paradox. There is a lot of information available, but when doctor wants to use something, if he is not extremely sure that he has used it before or his friend has used it before, he is really worried about use it first time because that information is not very much sure about whether it can be used or not. So that is another thing. So finally, that evidence-based medicine can be one of the areas which we can think of. So. Everywhere people call about paradigm shift, so I thought that I will also use one slide on paradigm shift. So if we see that paradigm shift, the first shift which is coming, all the presentations you will see the same thing will come. All, all of them, though some presentations have, is not done, but I'm still telling now itself. All the presentations will talk about one particular paradigm shift, that is the all health related ICT impl uh, implementations, I ICT systems, they have changed the focus from the efficiency of the healthcare group to the patient side. So this is a proper change which really we are seeing in the last four or five years. Most of the systems which is coming now is for the patients, for the children, for the mother, for the patients, for the for your um, family of the patients, because insurance, insurance you can say is for the family of the patients. So family of the patients. So a lot of things that focus has got changed. So it's a really very good thing. But we have also changed the total environment. So if you see the environment, there is an automated workflow, evidence-based medicine, which I've talked, health standards. We are talking about ICD-10 and ICD-9. A lot of discussion is going on in my project, ICD-9 or ICD-10. Some people say we have already purchased ICD-10, cannot go back to ICD-9. 
but when i talk to the some of the implementation already done hmri or agosri in andhra pradesh they are saying that whatever standard you follow you need a standard for your purpose okay, what is that standard india is not having anything again some working group is working on that to make a standard but still it is in a very very primitive stage so health standard is one thing end to end phr this is one most important thing we have to consider there is no system i have found till now which is having end to end starting from the activity to the last activity everything is captured and everything is available so end to end features decision support system and the service centric solutions where service will be the motto some suggestions this suggestions i have taken from uh, a publication healthcare 2020 published by foresight healthcare panel department of trade and industry london so this uh, report it is a report published is available all the places even in internet which says that some suggestions is that given by the, uh, this report is that more community and home based health care is going to come what we are seeing now is that see you have seen our e governance areas you have seen how the focus changed from the going to the departmental counters and uh, do the things from there the shift is doing it through internet sitting in my office sitting at my home healthcare is also going to come slowly like that i can give an example i some of you already listen that example because uh, if you have attended my uh, uh, session an example is that i was in china and i was not knowing chinese language and i got problem and and i was really you know in a uh, very bad conditions that how to contact because nobody knows in nearest area about uh, how means i cannot express what is my problem and then one of my friend told gave me a number and said why don't you call this number so i called that number one person received the phone call in english and then when i said my problem in english she transferred the call to a doctor who speaks english and then i said that my problem and then he returned back with a number he first he returned the number he he said that number i wrote it down also within a minute an sms came to my mobile number that same number i went to the nearest pharmacy just gave that number to that pharmacy pharmacy gave me the prescription plus the medicine both the things came to me and which is the uh, the pharmacy is just one and a half minutes from my where i was staying and i didn't speak because they they don't english i just gave that number which is written in a paper just gave the number everything came in english the prescription also came in english the medicine also they gave it to me directly just i had to pay for this it was really an excellent experience for me and slowly i am seeing that with telemedicine and so many other things which is coming in future a lot of initiatives have been taken it might be true even in india within a very short period of time so we are shifting going to the hospital sitting there then to doing the things even getting the health care or a care facility sitting at home or sitting in the office or going to a nearest small center whatever we call it we are even talking with minister of health how to use csc as a one of the uh, health care center you know all the places csc is are there and chronic disease management that is another very interesting thing we in india we understand there is a chronic disease when it is declared as a chronic disease means we go to hospital and then they declare oh you got chronic this one and now it will take a good amount of time to uh, you know to take care why i can't, i don't know it much before that i'm going to get a chronic disease that facility a, a very rare cases i have seen somebody said that uh, some doctor said you are going to get a chronic disease please take care of now itself but that is again another shift we are seeing that which is going to come people are getting more and more uh, informative about the chronic diseases and they are taking actions like for example heart and diabetic a lot of people are nowadays doing the test before itself to know that they are going to become a diabetic or not then diagnosis needs to be made more rational because uh, i don't want to talk much all of you know about it so but it should be more rational patients and the public will become the heart of healthcare systems which has already become so this report at least one line which i can say that yes it is happening in india improving health to innovations in social policy rather than to high end technology social policy we need a lot of change technology is there technology will be there and it will come automatically but we need some policy changes we need some social changes to actually take care of technology into a proper manner greater emphasis is needed on prevention which just now i said beyond electronic patient records to health biographies can we get again i can uh, give an um, example of nhs nhs when i was visiting them in london last march 
I was surprised to know that they created a health portal for the citizen of UK where the